Hello brethren, I'm again in Huddersfield Town Centre continuing our mission of, of preaching the gospel, bringing the gospel uh, to the people of this town. As you are aware, um, for the last three weeks we've been holding open air preaching uh, meetings in the centre. And today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be distributing Christian tracts. And I have a number of tracts to give out to the people. Keep it. ones as well.
watching. Um, I don't know why you want to come and listen to me. Yeah, do you like listening to me? Just half an hour, is that how long you can? Oh yeah, wait, what church are you going to do? Do you know what this is about? Yeah, to, I've got enough rubbish to carry about on me. <laughs> what makes you think this is rubbish? Why, what is it? It's about the salvation of your soul. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the most important thing you could think about. I know, yeah, I know what you're saying, but it's all right, mate. Yeah. It's all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See this, see this one? No one's saving this food with coronavirus, are they? Well, that's what this one, this, this, this tract here is around, uh, the subject of the coronavirus but it's showing uh, the ultimate cure and uh, what we need to be cured from more than the coronavirus is our sin and that's what Jesus Christ came to do he came to oh, yeah. deal with our sin and the Romans got hold of him a lot what they do yeah but God allowed that to happen because that was how God was going to bring about you know our salvation how comes God here couldn't save his son from well, being crucified? Well, God, God could have saved his son from being crucified if he wanted to. But, you know, Jesus Christ said himself, he says he could call for, you know, many legions of angels to come and, and, uh, and, and, and intervene and deliver him. But it was God's will that Jesus Christ would go to the cross because it's at the cross where Jesus would atone for our sins, where he would deal with our sins. Well, it wasn't really God's will, it was the Romans, because they didn't believe, they, they didn't believe in him, they, they didn't believe that he was the Messiah, and, and they didn't believe in you know what I mean? So, they crucified him.
So what, what would you say your religion is then? Um, if you're practicing your if you're practicing your religion I today. I would say labels are divisive. They separate us from you say you're a Christian, another person says they're a Muslim, another person says they're a Hindu, and it builds artificial walls between us. I'm a human being. That's what I identify as I am a human being. Yeah. And I believe in reality. So if you if you But, e to... but e equally so, uh, a Christian, right? A Christian is one who follows Christ. Yeah. Right? You're right. And a Christian also identifies themselves as a human being. So a human who's being a Christian a human, a, to my yeah, school of thought. A human being a human being who uh, believes, adores, follows the Lord Jesus Christ, follows his life, follows his uh, teaching, follows his commandments, I, I follow I, his example. I'm not trying to... Hello guys. Hello guys, can I give you on the nose? Sorry? Yeah. Have a read. Royal Wedding invitation. Absolutely. Have a read. There you go, guys. Welcome.